high peace and blessings happy solstice full moon blessings um it's a little cloudy in here because i've been uh, basking in some beautiful energy and i was sitting there and was just thinking and got inspired to do a reading for someone who might possibly be going through it and having a hard time and this came to me because I've had some big changes that happened in my life this year and um, and just period overall and oftentimes I've not really had a place to go or someone that I could really talk to or that could be there for me because I'm always like the supporter and the encourager for others so I wanted to share this because it, this time of the year is it's not easy for a lot of people because some people are alone some people may have lost someone or something dear to them and this time of the year is tricky because it's a holiday right we've got you know Christmas but it's all about like what can you get for someone so sometimes we don't feel that we are valued or that we're valuable because we can't give so maybe we're not in the best financial situation or even if you don't celebrate christmas um, because you don't believe or whatever the case may be it can still be a strange time of the year because there's a collective energy that you're not a part of um so i just wanted to do a quick reading just to provide some guidance and insight for anyone who may be struggling, who's hurting, who is just not um, not able to get into the Christmas spirit. And I don't know what deck I'm going to use. I'm just, I guess this one, because this is the one that's in my hand. So I'm just going to just sit, kind of get comfortable and really connect in to people who are sad, who aren't feeling the holiday cheer, who... Um, may just be having a hard time and just need some support, some encouragement, the so spirit. What message do you have for those who, who are hurting at this time? Who need encouragement, who need support, who need love? What message do we have? Oh, and there, you guys came up. If you're feeling alone, then this reading is for you. So... This was confirmation for me on me doing this reading. And it's beautiful because tonight is a full moon and there's a woman there and there's a full moon in the background as well. So this is this is definitely confirmation that somebody needs this message. It's funny because I tried to do a reading earlier um, that I promised my tribe, the Illuminators, and the reading was it was so weird, so I just stopped it because I felt like my energy or something was coming in, but the, the, the messages were just really strange. So I said I'm gonna take a break and I will come back to it after some of this energy settles, so I'll probably have to do it next week. It was gonna be, a year long reading but none of it was making sense Aww. so the first thing is that you're not alone and if you're feeling that you are alone then it's time for you to reach out reach out that was the first card that came out oh you guys running out of space here Why I'm pulling so many cards, but that's what had happened. So these two want to come out also. Oh, okay. All of this is super beautiful, and I feel like I used half the deck. I'm not gonna. 
I don't know. We'll see where this goes because like I said, this was acting off inspiration. So I pulled 16 cards for some reason. Eight and eight. Eight is the number of like abundance. So I'm feeling like there's a, an abundance of love and support for you. Um, again, I have no clue why I pulled so many cards. But right off the bat, um, I've got the base chakra and solar plexus chakra. So your base chakra is also known as your root chakra. And that is what makes you feel grounded, what makes you feel secure, what makes you feel that sense of belonging. So a lot of you probably need to have you, some clearing done around your root chakra so that um, that you don't feel ungrounded and unsettled. So something that you can do really quick is just close your eyes and imagine a red disc spinning right at the base of your spine. And imagine that this disc grows downwards, so it's like a cord and it goes deep into the earth and as you're connected to the earth really feel the energy of the earth supporting you and pull that energy up from the ground so kind of imagine like the color of chocolate coming up through that grounding cord that you created and filling up your body and you can also use affirmations like you know i am safe i am love i am supported i belong um, to really kind of start to anchor that into yourself. And a lot of you are feeling weak right now. You're feeling like you don't have any control. We've got um, the solar plexus chakra here and then control is coming up as well. Oh, that's my candle sending off smoke signals. <laughs> um, so you really want to, first of all, if you're trying to control things, stop. Don't try to control things because when we try to force things it can kind of make you feel powerless like when things don't go your way so you don't want to do that you don't want to be always trying to control situations because sometimes things are just out of our control um, so you definitely don't also want to feel hopeless so what I'm getting is that either you're like trying to control everything or either you feel like you can't control anything so you're just kind of hopeless and you're not really doing anything you're just like kind of ho-hum like whatever happens happens so again the first thing that I was um, that came out was reach out there are people here there are people around you there is support available so don't feel like you have to be alone like there's somebody you can call um, even if it's just getting on social media, going on Instagram and finding, you know, some inspirational posts or reaching out, you know, to a friend on Facebook or something like that. Don't isolate yourself to where you feel like there's nobody that you can talk to. And then there's also confront. So what is it that's really making you sad? Sometimes, right, like let's say if a relationship ends, you think that you're hurting because the relationship is over and maybe it's the fear of being alone that's really bothering you and not the relationship because maybe it wasn't even somebody that you really cared about like that or it wasn't giving you what you really wanted but also too like how this man is standing here and the shadow is of a child I feel like maybe there's something from childhood that's holding you back so maybe there are some family issues where you're just like not open and trusting or either something happened when you were younger so you're not open and trusting so you kind of isolate yourself a little bit and you get into that place where you're feeling feeling alone and feeling like you don't have anybody to reach out with and we can do that sometimes to kind of try and control our environment because if we don't let people in then people can't hurt us right so we want to get out of that and really look at confronting whatever it is that that has you feeling this way and like I said get support go if you need to talk to a therapist talk to a counselor talk to a mentor a coach a friend someone who can genuinely support you to help you move through what you're facing um, and so over here I don't know why but it's like come over here now so there's balance coming up twice we've got balance so there's the need for you to balance and wow okay so 
half of these cards are um, like major arcana cards, which means there is something on a, a big scale that's happening with you, but a lot of it is balance. And what I'm seeing here is like integrating the, just integrating things, right? So like whatever happened, like integrating the past with the present, balancing the male and the female energies within yourself. So that's the intuition and the emotion with the logic and the action not um because what can happen is we can stay in one so we can either be like really emotional and not do anything about it or um we can be super logical and not have any feeling or emotion um so we want to have balance we want to have balance between um between the two and this is also like coming to wholeness within yourself so sometimes when things happen that we think are not good or that make us a bad person and we're like oh my god I can't tell people about this like there's always polarity right there's always good there's always bad there's always light there's always dark everything that you are makes you who you are so it's integrating taking the good with the bad the bitter with the sweet and integrating that like the lessons that you may have learned um, in your life like really bringing all of these things together in a place of wholeness because when you are whole within yourself and you realize that everything is connected then you don't feel that separation you don't feel that disconnection and you don't feel like you're broken that something is wrong with you because you're not and this just echoes that like finding balance in your life Finding balance in your life with with work, with food, with nature, with the knowledge, like really finding balance in your life because you might not have balance. It's like you're not you're not settled. So again, it comes back to being grounded. You want to ground yourselves. Um, and open your heart. I'm feeling open your heart as well yep yep so opening your heart right here we've got the heart in a cage and then we have release so you've got to master your emotions um, you've got to be able to let your heart out you've got to be able to let people in um, and not close yourself off and all of this right here is like healing like so this is like the need for there to be healing and look at this release it's like everything was pent up in here and now it's like whew. Ah, release so let go like let go of those fears right and I feel like there's fears around relationships coming up to fears around family stuff you've got to let the fears go so that you can open up and start to manifest start to heal and find what it is that you want like this is peace right here this is peaceful they're just sitting in the park they're birds like the trees it's really beautiful and serene like that is peace so whatever it is that you're looking for as well, you already have it within you. It's just a matter of unlocking it, unlocking it, and letting it out. Okay? So yeah, so there's healing that's needed. But I do see that if you put in the effort, all will be well in your world. Um, and I want to pull... That was a nice, fun reading. I don't know why I pulled that many cards still. It's so interesting to me. I don't usually do that. I usually pull um, maybe seven, but I don't know. It was fun. I like that, though. That was, that was pretty pretty dope so here we have the card life purpose and I feel like it's it's confirmation that you do have a purpose in life that you're not alone that you were not put here to be miserable and lonely but that your life has a purpose and you're surrounded by loving support um, 
so yeah and also journal i feel like you need to be journaling writing things down getting things out really spending time um working on yourself have confidence open yourself up to give and receive as well as for, um, to give and receive as well as uh, the situation like what you're feeling right now is opening you up to be able to forgive so this card is super special and super important because whatever you're going through right now if you just open up to forgiveness and releasing and letting that stuff go before you go into a new year like this is prime time to start letting things go like prime time to start letting things go and know that you can move forward you can move forward in confidence you might not know what's on the other side but know that it's better than whatever you've experienced behind you um but you just you've got to have confidence you've got to have faith in yourself that things will get better and um, again the heart chakra comes up so that's like you know that healing of the heart that we saw in that other card and it said love is the heart of the matter your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love it's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance so it's time for you to open your heart it's time for you to heal release whatever stress whatever drama whatever fears whatever negativity you might have been feeling or experiencing and know that you are not alone even if people are not physically there around you angels are you are being supported on a spiritual level spend time connecting with your spirit spend time praying spend time journaling spend time meditating do something creative like painting or making a vision board something that allows you to really express yourself um, and get out what it is that you're feeling so that you can start to heal and move forward. So I hope that you enjoyed this Spiritual Love Tarot reading. If you would like more guidance and insight, I do offer um, tarot readings as well as I am a spiritual healer and life coach. So my mission is to really help support women um, on their journey to wholeness, to inner peace, and to um, love and healing so that is what i do and i love what i do it is nothing more than fun and a blessing for me to be able to help other people in their life's journey so you can find me on um line as at the spiritual love .com, and you can check out my services and um, also on Instagram as the Spiritual Love Coach. So, excuse me, the Spiritual Love Healer is the website and the Instagram. I recently um, did a little shift away from so much focus on coaching, more focus on healing. So I'm excited about that. Um, let me see, was there anything else coming up? I feel like there are signs that you're probably missing because we've got notice the signs. So pay attention to what's happening around you, within you, um, because it's like you're receiving these little spiritual messages, these little reminders that, hey, you're not alone. Hey, it's time to let this go. Hey, it's time for you to heal. Hey, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. And um, yeah. It's all good. So I hope to see you again. Thank you for watching. Peace and blessings. And um, please feel free to reach out to me. Leave a comment. Or again, you can visit me at my website, thespirituallovehealer.com. Peace.